Number one is kitchen safety. So from the correct shoes to the correct wardrobe to how to hold knives. Like, I don't know if it's common knowledge or not, you don't hold your knife out in front of you so you don't stab people. Some people don't know that. So the first thing you do is go through like a safety class that has to do with like food temperatures and like the healthful side and then you have like a common sense things like don't hold your knife in front of you, don't stick your hand in a mixer <laughs> while it's running, you should wear gloves if you're gonna pull something out of the oven. Number two, another thing that you learn that they pretty much beat into your head is mise en place. And if you don't know what mise en place is, it's a French term for everything in its place. Before you begin cooking or doing anything in the kitchen, you make sure you have everything that you need. You read through your recipe, you make sure you have all your ingredients before you get halfway into your recipe, and you find out you don't have eggs or you don't have flour. So you go through and you get everything set up before you start cooking. Most of the time in the kitchen, we spent like 30 minutes to an hour prepping. Number three. Another thing that I learned in culinary school is that you cannot expect everyone to be nice. Some people are like Gordon Ramsay. They're kind of rude. Kind of just not enjoyable to be around. Number four. You don't always get to choose who you work with. Sometimes your chef will tell you to work with someone even though you already have someone to work with. They'll switch you over. You don't always get a choice but you learn how to work with different kinds of people and it's a good growing learning experience for you. Number five. The last thing that I learned was you don't have to like everything that you make, but you have to try every single thing. Nothing goes out of the kitchen unless you've tasted it and seen if it's good. Even if you don't like it. The only exception is if you're allergic to something. My chef was like, you don't send anything out that you haven't tasted you don't send it out, which is very important because sometimes it tastes like trash and you have to adjust. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like this video. Comment down below what else you would like to see. If you want to see more videos about culinary stuff, if you want to see more things like the previous video, just let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure you follow me on my Instagrams, both of them. They'll be here somewhere. But uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video.